Hello, everybody. Uh, it's me. I'm back. And... Or it's me, F. I don't know, I should start saying that more often. My actual name in my intro. Um, last time, uh, I got softlocked. And uh, I managed to get out of the softlock. And did all that great fairy hunting for 50 rupees and 10 bomb shoes. In this episode, um, we're going to check some hidden grottos and some other stuff. Like, oh, okay. I'm really starting to run out of ideas for places to check. I actually had to check the spoiler log, not for locate, not for where items are, but for where places for me to check are. Because this is my very first time playing the Majora's Mask randomizer, so it's not like the Ocarina of Time randomizer where I know, well, shit, if it's not here, 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 or here, it must be in this grotto in the middle of nowhere. No, like, I don't know where any of the grottos were, so... I had looked up the locations, and I even pulled up a guide that tells me the locations of some of the grottos, and it mentions falling to your death. It mentions there is... Seriously, that joke was funny the first time, but not so much a second. Oh, maybe it was here The Oh, it's right here. Oh. Right here is a hidden grotto. These three snowballs are supposed to indicate that it's here. Uh, also, one thing I never knew that you can do in this game, since the Stone of Agony is not here to tell you where hidden grottos are, the Lens of Truth is. Uh, if this was the 3DS version. Maybe it was the Mask of Truth you're supposed to wear to find hidden grottos? No, I guess it was the 3DS version. Anyways, there's a hidden grotto right here. Alright, please, 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 please have something for me to work with. Okay. That's something? That's not something for me to work with, though. Alright, I have one more hidden grotto I can check. And then after that, the only other thing that comes to mind is the Postman's minigame. There's also the Skull House. And there's one place I didn't check, but it requires the magic bean. And I'll be honest with you, I accidentally glanced at what was up there on that, that Great Bay area where that requires the magic bean. It's just the giant's wallet, so it's not even worth trying to look back at trying to find the, the bean for. Um, and the Skull House, we looked at one of the stones and it mentioned it was just going to be money or something, so not worth going back for that either. That means whatever we're looking for has to either be in the second hidden grotto or it's got to be the postman's minigame. If it's neither of those, then I'm just shit out of luck and I might actually have to look at the spoiler log to figure out where I'm supposed to go next. I don't know. As much as I don't want to rely on the spoiler log, I feel like I might have to because I don't know this game like I do Ocarina of Time. And you... Okay, I'm not here for you anyways, wolf. Oh, that hits a wolf. Interesting. Anyways, there's a hidden garage somewhere over here. As for where is a good question, but I... I'm not short on bombs, so... Wait, maybe it was this island that had the hidden grotto where Tingle is. No? I know it's somewhere over here. Well, it refers to it as the Twin Islands. Are you... Well, time to pull out my hidden grotto guide. Interesting. So, looking at this guide for where all the hidden garados are, I mean, I'm not going to show it on the screen, but there's a lot of hidden garados I missed. Yeah, it says that there's a hidden garado right here somewhere. I don't see it, though. Maybe this is just for the 3DS remaster, but I couldn't imagine. Oh, I'm stupid. It's not referring to that tree. It's referring to the other tree. 
We're inside the burning building. They're all burning buildings. Bit of an inside joke only my friends would get. But yeah, it's right there. The snowballs are all supposed to indicate that there's a hidden garage right there. All right. Please, 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 please be something. <gasps> That's something, all right. I can work with that. All right, okay. So, we're going to, uh, we're going to kill Goat. But before we kill Goat, I do want to check, uh, some other hidden grottos. Because, looking at this guide, it's mentioning two other hidden grottos that I didn't know about. Okay, so there's apparently a hidden grotto here, which is funny because I actually do remember finding this one as a kid. So it begs the question why I didn't, f I couldn't find it as an adult. Oh, does this just have cows in it? Probably should have read it closer. Uh, I should probably pause the game too. Contains a wasp nest with three wasps, two cows. Yeah, just cows in a wasp nest. Where is the wasness? Oh, up there. Oh, B. Sp speaking of uh, Nintendo Capri Sun, he actually started doing the uh, Majora's Mask randomizer just yesterday as of recording this. Watching his videos reminds me of all the mistakes that I made during my, uh, my first few hours playing. Um... I left a, po a uh, comment there warning him of all the mistakes that I had made, but, you know, I highly doubt he's ever gonna see it. I'm a very, very small-time YouTuber, so... I, I don't know. It's been a while since we've had to call for Epona. Been getting used to teleporting all over the place. Oh, hello there, Bombchu. You just pissed off the Gossip Stone. There he goes. Alright, so there's apparently another hidden garage over here. Over by uh, Dampe's house. It's so weird watching him move in slow motion. Uh, it should be, yeah, it should be right over here by this circle of rocks. All right, what do we have in here? A chest. All right. Oh, there's our last key to Stone Tower. I kind of wish I knew that was there earlier, then I wouldn't have to do the damn Zora Egg one every time I wanted to get the three keys. So, man, we're coming really close to 100% completion, and it's unintentional as well. Well, I mean, there's not a whole lot to, like, despite how big the list is in the Majora's Mask randomizer compared to the Ocarina of Time randomizer, there really isn't that much to do in this game, and this game can be cleared a lot quicker than the Ocarina of Time randomizer. Alright, so, that, that was pretty nice. Uh, there are also a bunch of other hidden garados that it mentions on here. Uh... Those were the only- those were the important ones that it mentioned, though. And I think I have- Oh, hold well, let me just go through this list real quick to make sure I've already grabbed the other hidden garados. Okay, after checking the guide, there are two hidden garados I missed. Remember that one I mentioned with the hookshot saying that's where the giant's wallet was? Apparently, no, that's- there are just cows and wasp nests up there. Uh, the actual hidden grotto is in a boulder that I kept swimming past, wondering if there was something there, but there, I just ignored it. That's where the giant's wallet would be. And then there's another hidden grotto that I missed somewhere in, uh, by the hidden shrine, so, you know, I guess we'll go check those out as well. We're already, you know, finding all sorts of cool shit. Yep, sure enough, there's a hidden grotto right here. Barely even noticed it when I got here. Alright. Now, what does this chest contain? That's just a rhetoric. Okay. 
Well, at least I know that there is a hidden Garado there. Alright, on to the next one. Okay, so I was wrong. Uh, the rock that I was talking about that I thought I would saw, it's referring to a completely different rock. It's where the fishing hut is in the uh, remaster. And I had already checked over there. Um, it does mention this though, it's like, Northeast strip of land by the pirate entrance. Only assume it's referring to... Yeah, that would be, this would be Northeast. So, is it possible to get up there? I mean, it doesn't say there are any chests in there, it just says that there is a cow. Oh, it's referring to that. Yeah, down here there should... Yep, yeah, there's just a cow in there. But that other place up there is where the giant's wallet is, where I accidentally saw it in the guide when I was trying to find something. Yeah, no way we can get over there without the magic beans. Maybe if I had Fierce Deity, I could get up there without the magic beans, or maybe I could jump because I'm an adult. No, it's just a little out of reach. But yeah, that's fine. Giant's Wallet is optional, and if I somehow manage to find Fierce Deity, I could uh, grab it, but I mean, having extra rupees doesn't mean a whole lot anymore. All right. I have, get out of my way. I have, um, how, how long do I have? I have a lot, pretty long time actually. I've got a pretty long time until, why did I jump down here? That was really dumb of me. I have roughly 14 hours to get all the way up to GOAT. I think I can easily do that. Well, it's a good thing we had this green potion. Actually came in handy for once. Man, I'm not at GOAT yet, but um, <clears throat> this reminds me of a story that happened years ago, like maybe 10, 12 years ago when I was playing Majara's Mask for the first time. Um, I, was on my, uh, I was on my dad's N64 console and uh, uh, my brother and sister were fighting about something and I had just cleared uh, Snowhead and uh, one of them threw something across the room and it hit the cartridge and it uh, crashed the whole game. So not only did I have to redo the entirety of Snowhead, I had to do everything related to coming to the mountains, which was several hours of work. I was pissed at them. But yeah. But now it's funny thinking about it. Something that took me several hours to do back then, I can do in the in just a snap of a finger. Like, I could probably clear the mountains in like maybe an hour at the very most, and that includes going to Snowhead as well. All right, almost there to go. Just gotta get past these damn snowballs for like the umph team time. All right, go. As soon as I get over there, I'm kicking your ass. Man, I'm at, could you imagine all this buildup and then I didn't have the fire arrows? Just, <laughs> uh, that would have sucked. Go! All right, go. Come back here, you son of a bitch. Now, there are easy ways to kill a goat, but I prefer the old fashioned chase him down the hallway and beat the shit out of him as a Goron way. Plus, well, like, you do so much damage to him like this. At least it looks like you're doing a lot of damage to him, just seeing all of that, that damage he's taking. Ah, damn. It's going so well. Come back here, goat. I ain't done kicking your ass. But yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I lost my thing for a minute. 
You're shitting bombs on me now, goat. Come on, just accept your fate and die. Uh oh. That was close. No, stop drifting! God. I could only imagine how uncomfortable that must feel rolling around and drifting. There we go. You can only talk about so much stupid shit, go. Jesus. Alright. Let's see, what did Go have? If with any luck it's the new wave bossa nova. If it's the new wave bossa nova, then we are set for a good while. It's a red potion. Okay. That's fine. We're kinda of back to square one now, but at least we kill a goat. That's all that really matters. Oh, it's also spring, but I can't, I still can't do the thing yet because I don't have a way of getting into the Great Bay Temple. But now that it's spring, there's a hidden Garado I can access. Or, what the fuck is this? Oh, there's an invisible chest in here. I really wish I had a webcam, just so you can see the disbelief on my face. I, 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 words cannot describe it. Like, I'm happy that I finally found it, but still, words cannot describe the disbelief on my face that I just ran into the Woodfall Temple key because I saw a little cubby that I thought I thought was a completely different cave. Like, I thought it was that pathway over there, but hell, I'm glad to finally have it. That means Erdalwa is next on our hit list, so if I can find the new wave bossa nova, then I can beat- oh, I need the ice arrows too, shit. Oh, a lot of bows in here. But if I can find the new wave bossa nova, then, um... I've pretty much got this. That's the only, the new wave bossa nova and the ice arrows is all I need, and this the seed is done. Oh, there's another heart container. Also, uh, I was wrong when I said there were only four heart containers. Uh, there are six. It counts the first two heart containers that I give up for to be randomized. So that means. Let's see, I've grabbed two heart containers, so that means I've gotten every piece of heart and there should only be heart containers left. Anyways, I'm going to Woodfall to kick Udawa's ass. I will see you guys when we get there. But first, a word from our sponsors. No. Uh, while I was about to teleport, I just remembered there are now multiple pickups I can get now that it is spring here. I'm going to grab a... Uh, I'm gonna grab them real quick before I forget. Um, do I have a powder keg in my pocket? No, I don't. I can get a powder keg really easily so I don't have to do the powder keg license walk. But there are two pickups here that I can finally get. Get out of here, fish. Where it's always these damn fish. Well, there's the ocean title deed. That's. Man, like. Oh! Excuse me, fish, get out of here. There's just so much that we're, I'm finding. Like, it, it was just all in one hidden garado. One hidden garado just sparked all of this. One hidden grotto I didn't know about. And now I might actually beat the damn seed. Hey, the bomber's notebook. Does that mean, will it actually tell me the code? Of course it won't. It's gonna be completely blank because now this is me just getting the notebook. But that's fine. 
We don't really need the code unless, you know, for completion's sake. And I mean, I could go into a video and type in whatever the code was, but it's not really worth it. Like, I'll do it next time. Ow. All right, and with the ocean title deed, let's see what that gives us. Oh wait, I gotta be a Zora for that. All right, here's the ocean title deed. Now what are you gonna give me in return? A map of Clock Town, okay. Well, uh, at least we know where that's at now. But more importantly, once he gets his ass out of that flower, we can see what that piece of heart got turned into. Uh, well, at least now we know where the hero's shield is. It's not gonna do me any good, but... Cafe, what are you doing over there? I didn't know Cafe goes over here no matter what. I wonder what he says. I feel like he wouldn't talk to me since I've never done any of his quests. Yeah, he just doesn't talk to me. Alright, let's do the Goron race real quick. I've not done this in a while, but I can't imagine this being that hard. Gotta use the spiky stuff and get these bastards out of the way. Make sure they don't hit any of the magic pots. Oh, okay, so we plink off each other even when I have the spikes on. I see, so that's obnoxious. Alright, come on. I. What the fuck was that? There are bomb flowers in the middle of the road. Man, do bomb flowers appear any other place in the game? Is this? Yeah, because I swear I've never seen a bomb flower appear anywhere else. Because normally they should, wouldn't appear anywhere else. Because you get bombs, like you can get bombs very early on in the game if you know what you're doing. All right, don't knock me off the bridge. Hey, I don't think I'm gonna make it. So, I'll just have to do the race again. That bomb flower fucked me over. Also, it's annoying how I'm the only Goron that gets knocked out of their curl. Damn, did I really get, like, okay, they're... I got second place? Yeah, well, uh, I guess now that I've showed the race once, I guess... I'll cut until I win. Yes! Ha! Ah, it was such a dirty move, but those other Gorons were fighting really dirty as well. Alright, what was the prize for doing this? A uh, hundred rupees. Okay. Uh, shut up. I literally just raced. Okay, so at least we know the Goron race was a bust. Normally that's where the gold dust would be. Though I know where the gold dust is, but it's the final day, so we don't have time for that side quest. But, anyways, let's go kick Adala's ass. Alright, we're finally here. Let's see just how quickly I can kill Udala. Alright, Adala. You're about to get your ass kicked. Three hits. Adala is not as weak as Goma, but he is kind of weak. And that clears another boss. Damn, two bosses in one video. Now what did you have, Adala? Hey, the Fierce Deity Mask! I was just talking about you. 